here at Life and Collar and Cuffs Co. Today we're going to play the story of Krabby. It's a snappy little tale of grumpy feelings and what to do about them. The production was originally funded by our amazing crowd funders and Andrew Lloyd Webber's really useful group charities. This video has been made possible by the Library Presents at Home. Play along and remember, press pause if you need more time. Now, if you're ready, then let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a little hermit crab called Crabby. A hermit crab doesn't have a shell of its own. It has a soft, fragile body and it keeps safe by finding empty shells left behind by other creatures and living inside them instead. As the crab grows, it finds itself a bigger shell to live in, though sometimes hermit crabs can also lose their shells in other ways, as Krabby finds out. Now, Krabby was a particularly mean and grumpy little hermit crab. And one day, when he'd been very unkind to all the inhabitants of the seashore, Beryl the mermaid, who was in charge of things around that part of the coast, had had enough. <laughs> Listen here, Krabby, she said. You can't go around being mean with your words or mean with your body, no matter how grumpy you're feeling. Everyone gets cross sometimes. I do, even the king does, and that's absolutely fine. Be as cross as you need to. But you must not hurt people. Do you understand? But Krabby just said... And scuttled away. Beryl used her magic wand and put a curse on Krabby to teach him a lesson. Let wind come and rain and thunders crack. Krabby's shell will be gone when the tide turns back. And lo and behold, the sky turned dark and huge looming clouds came across the sky. And huge looming clouds came across the sky. And the waves started to rise and I hear thunder, heart don't you, hit a pad of raindrops, I went through, so are you, I hear thunder, I hear thunder, hark don't you, hark don't you. Pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, I went through, so are you. I hear thunder, I hear thunder, hark don't you, hark don't you. Pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops, I went through, so are you. And the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in, the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in. Do 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 And the tide rolled back and the tide rolled back The tide rolled back and the tide rolled back Do 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 Oh dear Krabby had lost his shell Beryl's curse had worked
So, Crabby went a walking along the seashore. Crabby went a walking. Let's see what Crabby saw. Down by the quayside, Crabby found Wilf, the seagull, rummaging through some fish and chip papers, looking for his breakfast. <laughs> me dock is marvellous, me dock is lendy, it's the bestest dock in town, oh I can see the lot. House and the pia, as I the flag me up and down. Bright and breezy, covered with seaweed, it's my only pride and joy. Oh, I go to bed at ten, but I'm back each day again. Ship ahoy, yeah, ship ahoy. Will says, Hello, Crabby. You look a bit different. Are you okay? Crabby says, I've lost my shell. I need to find a new one before the tide comes in or my soft body will be hurt. Crabby spies a clump of barnacles on Wilf's favourite mooring post and starts to pull them off. Will says, no, Crabby, you can't have those. They belong here. They're like family to me. Stop, Crabby, stop. But <gasps> Crabby's feet went like this. And Crabby's claws went like this. And <gasps> uh-oh, there he blows. <gasps> Crabby threw Will's fish and chip papers and he stole the barnacles and died into the sea. <gasps> and the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in, the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in. And the tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back, the tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back. had lost his shell again. Beryl's curse was still working. So, Crabby went a-walking along the seashore. Crabby went a-walking. Let's see what Crabby saw. Down by the rock pools, Crabby found a trio of jellyfish. They were dressed in fancy top hats and were practicing their act for the seaside's music hall. Three dandy jellyfish. Three dandy jellyfish. Three dandy jellyfish sitting on a rock. When along comes a huge wave and two dandy jellyfish two dandy jellyfish two dandy jellyfish sitting on a rock when along comes a huge wave and one dandy jellyfish one Dandy jellyfish, one dandy jellyfish sitting on a rock. When along comes a huge wave and <laughs> no dandy jellyfish, no dandy jellyfish, no dandy jellyfish 
sitting on a rock when along comes a huge wave and says, I've lost my shell. I need to find a new one before the tide comes in or my soft body will be hurt. Crabby spies the jellyfish's top hats. He points to them and says, I want a hat. The jellyfish say, oh, no, 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 no. You can't have one that ours. We need them for our music hall act. Stop, Krabby, stop! But Krabby's feet did this, and Krabby's claws did this, and uh oh, there he blows! <laughs> wailed and stamped and cried until the jellyfish were so exhausted they gave him a hat. Krabby stopped crying immediately, took the hat and dived into the sea. And the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in, the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in. Do 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 do. And the tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back, the tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back. Do 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 do. Oh dear, it had happened again, and Krabby had lost his shell. So, Krabby went a walking along the seashore. Krabby went a walking. Let's see what Krabby saw. Down by the pier, Krabby found Pearl oyster in her tea room. She was showing her customers the menu. Today we have fish and chips. Oh, fish and chips. Everybody loves fish and chips. Everybody loves fish and chips. Everybody, 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 everybody loves fish and chips. Then we have scones and jam. Oh, lovely. Everybody loves scones and jam. Everybody loves scones and jam. Everybody, 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 everybody loves scones and jam. Then we have strawberries. Oh. We have strawberries. Oh, very nice. Mm. Everybody loves strawberries and cream. Everybody loves strawberries and cream. Everybody, 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 everybody loves strawberries and cream. Pearl says, hello, Krabby. You look a bit different. Are you okay? Krabby says, 
I've lost my shell. I need to find a new one before the tide comes in or my soft body will be hurt. Grabby spies Pearl's teacups. Pearl says, Oh, would you like a teacup? It would make an excellent shell for you. Try it on. Oh, it's perfect. I tell you what, if you play my favourite game and win, I'll let you keep it. Krabby feels sure he can win, so he listens to the rules of Pearl's game. Pearl says, my game is this. We go round and round the table to the song. At the end of the song, we clap a rhythm, and the first to complete it wins. Got it? Here we go. Here we go round the teapot. Go as fast as you like, but don't stop. Leave your cake, leave your tea. Join in the race, try to follow me. Ready? Two sugars, please. Krabby claps his rhythm first. He's won. But Pearl says, oh dear, you lose. Krabby is confused. He really wants the teacup, so he doesn't say anything. And Pearl says, oh, would you like to try again? Ready? Here we go round the teapot. Go as fast as you like, but don't stop. Leave your cake, leave your tea. Join in the race, try to follow me. Ready? Two sugars, please. Krabby claps his rhythm first again. He's sure of it. He's won. But Pearl says... Oh dear, oh dear, you lose again. You're not very good at this game, are you? Krabby is angry. He really wants the teacup. He says, are you cheating me? Pearl says, no, it's my game, my rules. Let's play one more time. Ready? Here we go round the teapot. Go as fast as you like, but don't stop. Leave your cake, leave your tea. Join in the race, try to follow me. Ready? Two sugars, please. Krabby claps his rhythm first. Again, he has one. There's no doubt. But Pearl says, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, you lose yet again. Give me my teacup. Now, Krabby, now. And Krabby's feet did this. And Krabby's claws did this. And oh, uh oh, there he blew. He dives into the sea. <gasps> and the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in, the tide rolled in, and the tide rolled in. Do 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 And the tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back, the tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back. Do 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 Oh dear. Krabby had lost his shell again and feeling very sad and very confused and very frustrated, he went back to see Beryl the mermaid to find out what he could do. He found her doing her favourite thing, blowing bubbles. Blowing bubbles, pretty bubbles.
bubbles in the air. They fly so high, nearly reach the sky. Watch them float up and wave goodbye. Bubbles make happy faces. You can see them everywhere. So I'm forever blowing bubbles, pretty bubbles in the air. I'm forever blowing bubbles, pretty bubbles in the air. They fly so high, nearly reach the sky. Watch them float up and wave goodbye. Bubbles make happy faces, you can find them everywhere. So I'm forever blowing bubbles, pretty bubbles in the air. Beryl says, hello, Krabby. You look a bit different. Are you okay? Krabby says, no. I keep losing my shell. Beryl says, I know. Things keep floating to me on the tide. First, it was a clump of barnacles. These belong to Wilf. Next, it was a hat. This belongs to the jellyfish. Next, it was a teacup. This belongs to Pearl. Oh dear, Krabby, what have you been doing? Krabby said, I needed a new shell. I needed a shell before the tide came in to stop my soft body being hurt. It's a very scary being soft underneath and having to find a way to keep safe. My shells protect me. Beryl said, I see. But did you get your shells by asking for them nicely? Krabby said, well, Wilf wouldn't miss a few barnacles. And the jellyfish look silly in their hat. And Pearl, well, she's a horrible, stinking, nasty cheat. Beryl said, none of those things are true. None of those things mean you can be unkind to people, even if you are frightened or angry. Krabby said, but I don't know what else to do. I'm a crab. I only know how to be crabby. Beryl said, Well, that's a very brave thing to say. Okay, crabby, I will help you. I will give you three magic spells. If you can use them to put everything right, then maybe the curse will break. Spell number one. If you are feeling very angry or scared you can breathe in the ocean and blow out the storm you can breathe in the ocean and blow out the storm Magic spell number two. If someone isn't playing very nicely with you, you can say, finished, and walk away. You can find something else to do. You can say, finished, and walk away, and find something else to do. Spell number three. 
If you don't know what to do and your feelings are too big and too scary, you can ask for help. If your feelings are too big and too scary, you can ask for help. Have you got all that, Krabby? You have until the tide turns to break the curse. Now go! <laughs> Krabby went to return the teacup to Pearl. Pearl said, I might still let you keep my teacup, but you'll need to play my game again and win. Krabby remembered Beryl's spells. Though he really wanted to pinch Pearl, he kept calm and he used a spell instead. He signed, finished, finished, and walked away. Krabby went to return the top hat to the jellyfish. They were very cross with him, and Krabby felt very frightened. But he remembered Beryl's magic spells, and he breathed in the ocean, blew out the storm, and went on his way. Krabby went to return Wilf's barnacles. Wilf was so very, very happy to have them back. But Krabby still didn't have a shell. And the tide was nearly at the top of the quayside steps. He remembered Beryl's spells and in desperation he said to Wilf, Help me! Wilf said, Ow! Oh, I will help you. I will fly around the harbour and find you a shell. Don't you worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, but it was too late. The tide had come in. And the tide rolled in and the tide rolled in. The tide rolled in and the tide rolled in. Do, 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 do. And the tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back. The tide rolled back, and the tide rolled back. Do 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 do. Krabby had broken the curse. He now had the most beautiful shell to keep his soft body safe until he grew to need a new one. And with his magic spells to help him, he even became a little bit less crabby. Maybe you can use some of Beryl's spells next time you feel a little bit crabby. Now, this shell is so fantastic, it really deserves a parade. Are you ready? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Oh, I do like to stroll along the prom, 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 where the brass band plays tiddly um, pom, pom. So just let me be beside the seaside. I'll be beside myself with glee. <laughs> There are lots of folks beside, so I should like to be beside, beside the seaside, beside the sea. Yeah!